Hello, I'm Mike Morris, and along with Jill Nicolini, welcome to day three of Infocom TV News. Yep, Mike, here we are on the final broadcast at this year's Infocom 2014 here in beautiful Las Vegas. We want you all to know how much we appreciate you watching our program each and every day, and of course, we hope it's been helpful. This has been great. Melora Donahue has been with us this past few days, conveying most of the news from the convention floor. Melora? Thanks, guys. So, wow, these past few days have flown by, but it has been an absolutely incredible experience. Amazing products and people. I've loved every second of this. Okay, so this last day's show is primarily a highlight show of our last two days of broadcast, but I'll still have some live news and current events to report, like this story, for instance. Looking for a way to fine tune a sound solution that will fit your clients' needs exactly? Look no further than Listen Technologies' new stationary RF systems. These assistive listening systems come with all the components you need for ADA compliance. They feature a super quiet companding switch for less hiss and 57 channels for maximum flexibility. Thanks, Melora. We put together today's recap show as an opportunity for you to catch up on some of the important product and industry news that you may have missed the last three days. So here's an example. So now you can lead your clients into a brave new world of education technology with an assist from TeachLogic. Their Maxim 3 is the premier digital hybrid sound field system for classroom use. Jerry, I love this product and I, I want to know what, what makes it so special. Well, besides our two infrared wireless mic channels, we have the ability to control the inputs from RS-232 control on a wall panel. We have a security alert function, which can be initiated from the teacher's pendant microphone. We also have a very special circuit, which integrates with the intercom PA system, which will pass on the intercom message and through our own speakers, even if power is lost to our Maxim 3. And that's a very, very unique feature in the sound field business. Don't let the name fool you. The newest hearing hotspot from Williams Sound is ultra cool. It allows any venue to stream audio from TVs, music sources, or live programs via Wi-Fi. The audio can be picked up on nearby smartphones and tablets with the use of a free app. It's uh, targeted for areas where uh, multiple TVs or monitors are uh, showing. For instance, a, a sports bar, maybe an airport, um, or a lounge and uh, you go in there, there's all these TVs playing, and you think, wow, wouldn't it be nice if I could listen to one of those? Well, with the Hearing Hotspot, you use a simple app on your phone, sign on to the network, and now you can select any of up to 56 channels and listen to that audio directly from those TVs. Blackmagic Design's new live production switcher isn't witchcraft, but it may as well be. The 8 M2 M8 Production Studio 4K is a powerful Ultra HD switcher. It has 26 gig SDI inputs, each with its own frame synchronizer. Now, it also boasts a super source layering engine, chroma key, and audio mixer, plus two multi-view outputs and a slew of other features. Eat your heart out, Ben Franklin. Furman's Blue Bolt technology lets you manage and monitor voltage and energy consumption directly from the cloud. The all-new RS-232 adapter acts like a key on a kite string, allowing Blue Bolt to integrate with Furman's range of smart sequencers. This is a multi-zone uh, power platform that lets you uh, power stuff on and off over the internet. So we're doing a demo right here where we have a multi-zone installation, big performance venue. We're able to turn the whole thing off and bring it down all over the internet. It can be any of the world and uh, turn it all and off safely and easily. It's hard to find a speaker that can deliver delicately balanced sound while taking a beating from the elements. But the 108CI M by one system just made it a whole lot easier. This lightweight all-weather loudspeaker delivers high fidelity and sonic accuracy in even the harshest environments. Doug, I know over here at One Systems, you guys always have a lot going on, but what do I need to know that's new in, in, in the world here of speakers? Well, to add to our line of direct weather loudspeakers, we've got two new models at the show. One is the 108 CIM, which is a very small coaxial injection molded speaker system, an eight inch coaxial speaker system, fully weatherproof. And in addition to that, we've got the new 118 IM sub, which is an injection molded 18 inch subwoofer both are perfect for sports entertainment venues of all types. And we'll be right back with more of Infocom TV news highlights after these messages. Please stay with us. How secure are your wireless mics? Stop by the Electrosonics booth at C9716 for your copy of the white paper on encrypted wireless. 
While you're there, be sure to check out the latest Dante Audio Networking Processors. Electrosonics, made in the USA by a bunch of fanatics. When many of you think of Rain, you remember us for products such as our analog equalizers and crossovers. Rain's current products provide solutions for background music, paging and conference rooms, schools and room combining, houses of worship, theaters and auditoriums. User interface is easy with Rain's cool remotes and browser-based controls. Rain and Hal know how to make processing easier. Check out our new Dante Expander, touch panel remote, and other enhancements at Rain, booth C10906. Check out the new hearing hotspot from Williams Sound. This splash of truly cool technology allows any venue to stream audio via Wi-Fi from TVs, music sources, or live programs to your smartphone or tablet. Kick back and download this app for free. The cool place to connect is definitely Williams Sound, booth C10318. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Our family business has been growing. Please stop by our booth and check out our new ErgoMic, mixers, and digital signal processors. And welcome back. Are you aware of the fact that Infocom International, the trade association producing Infocom 2014, has 5,000 members from 100 countries? The growth of the association to record levels can be attributed to the strength of Infocom's membership programs. Practical business tools, discounted industry training materials and classes, and plenty of networking opportunities are just some of the reasons AV professionals belong to Infocom International. Visit the Infocom International booth today. Right, Mike, stop by to consult with Infocom's experienced staff on membership and all its benefits. You really can't afford not to. Boy, that's for sure. Now let's continue with some more highlights from previous broadcasts. Adder Technologies Adderlink Infinity 1002 is a digital KVM and USB 2.0 extender. It is designed for the company's Aleph Matrix solution. It can extend the distance between video source and display almost to infinity and beyond. It gives customers a lot of flexibility in that it'll offer them a single link, single head KVM over IP with a dual NIC, uh, so they can have redundancy built into the product. Uh, and then as an added layer of flexibility, you can also use it as a point-to-point -point single head USB um, KVM over fiber extender. Wow Vision and Starin's Nucleus Master takes collaboration technology to a whole new level. Now Collab 8 platforms can collaborate with each other. The Nucleus Master allows content sharing across multiple Collab 8 locations, whether they're individual rooms or hubs within a space. What separates presentation technology from collaboration? Well, collaboration is where you can actually start to come together and work on a shared common document so that individuals can each have their mouse pointers, cursors on the screen and contributing to that document, editing it, giving different insights and different perspectives on what might be contribution to the outcome of that document. The Fusion Catalyst 4500 display wall processor by Jupiter Systems isn't just another brick in the video wall market. It's intended for small and mid-sized video walls and is a great fit for conference room applications. Improved CPU and GPU capabilities allow support for up to 96 gigabytes of RAM per CPU. Rain is on the move. The company is taking its Hale One X system to a whole new level with the EXP 2X Dante Expander. Dean, from what I understand, my man Hal has some new accessories to his wardrobe. What's the scoop? Melora, we've really dressed Hal up for you this year. We've got three new accessories for Hal here at the show. The first one is a Dante Expander. Uh, it's 32 inputs, 32 outputs. It, it'll let your man Hal talk to any of the audio products on the market that use Dante technology. So we're glad to be a part of Dante. We also have a seven inch touch screen uh, that, that's specific to Hal so that you can uh, do custom control pages uh, for any of the HAL models. And then we've also upgraded the HAL 3. It's now a HAL 3S. It has an additional RAD port. So it has a total of six inputs and 10 outputs at the same price. Speaker manufacturers seem to be making a big push at this year's Infocom new technologies, designs, and applications. The folks at Rankus Heinz certainly have a lot to talk about. Melora gives us the report. No one knows arrays like Rankus Heinz. They introduced the first Iconics line array nearly a decade ago, and they've been fine-tuning the technology behind it ever since. I am with, right now, Rick Kirby. Rick, tell me what I need to know about the Gen 5. 
Well, here at Infocom, we're launching the fifth generation of our Iconics product. Uh, and as you say, it's been 10 years since the first one. And since that period, we've become the industry leaders in this digitally steerable array technology. Gen 5 brings a completely new amplifier topology, new software control, new beams, which give us higher output, increased control, better integration with third party uh, devices to control the product over TCP IP, um, and the new Rayon 2 software suite to control all of this. Just in time for midterm election season, Zavtel has unveiled a new addition to the Senator Conference system. The CDM2000 is a more advanced delegate station than CDM1000 with expanded options. It will be a delegate station which will allow you to have RFID card reader inside. You have the five voting buttons capability. Here you have another panel with a two-digit display. You can choose the simultaneous translation listening channel. You can even choose the channel you want to talk to a certain delegate via microphone, or you can choose a private intercom channel going that way and you say, okay, I want to talk to a person on channel number 17 and really have a private intercom which is totally off of the thing. SBSI products are known for their problem-solving flexibility and their new 4K encoders and decoders are no exception. Not many people can say that they have a seamless switching solution. So what we have here is a wall plate that is strictly allowing me to show two different sources and I'll show you that now. It's instant. Now before we go to break, Melora, anything new you'd like to add to today's show? Well, you know, guys, there is so much here on the show floor that it's really hard to select just one. But privacy is more important than ever these days. And the digital secure wireless system from Electrosonics is a great way to keep your sensitive audio away from prying ears. Right now, I am here with Carl Winkler. Carl, talk to me. What more do I need to know about this product? So we decided to use AES 256-bit encryption, CTR mode. It's about as robust as you can get. Uh, there's a couple different operating modes, including a one-time pad use, which is the ultimate. Uh, ask any spook, any NSA guy about that one. Uh, but the system is also just a great wireless. So here's the DR frame. It's a modular frame that holds up to six channels in one rack space. And it's got a rich interface as well and a detailed high-resolution LCD for setting up your channels and monitoring the activity on those channels. This is the, the wireless designer software. We can be watching activity on any of the channels at any given moment. Uh, we can also do frequency scanning for your local spectrum. Uh, so this is the DB belt pack transmitter. It's a 50 milliwatt transmitter. It's got a multifunction programmable switch on top that can be used for power or uh, talk back or muting. And uh, the unit takes a standard five pin mic input which is compatible with any of our other transmitters. And again, it does 24-bit, 48 kilohertz sampling, so the audio quality is pristine through this system. A lot more to catch up on at this Infocom. We'll continue our highlights and get the current word from Alora right after these messages. Please stay with us. The proceeding was brought to you by Zantech, the number one brand in IR. Booth 9521 in the Center Hall. New styles. New finishes. The credenza built around the rack you trust. See all the new C5 series credenzas at Middle Atlantic, booth C9325. JBL engineers purposely designed and built the Eon 600 from the ground up, featuring JBL's advanced waveguide technology. This total redesign of the Eon platform leverages the latest technologies in cabinet materials, acoustic science, transducer design, and user friendliness. The JBL Eon 600 is a fully professional, highly flexible, easy to use portable system for today's working musicians and sound providers. More readership, more respect, better results. We're Sound and Communications Magazine, the name you can trust in the commercial integration market. For any job, you need the right tool. StarDraw has the right design and documentation software for every project. And with an all-new version, the best tool just got better. See StarDraw Design 7.1, the fast, easy way to draw and do more at Booth C7742. Okay, guys, I just caught up with David Silverman, editor of this program, and of course, Sound and Communications Magazine, and he sent me over to Digico to check up on what's going on over there. Now, I was told I need to find this webby guy. Found this webby guy right here. Now, webby, I was told that before we do this interview, um, you need to sit on your hands. 
Okay, so I've got to feel my own ass for a change. <laughs> Now that his hands are properly placed, here we go. Tell me what's going on at the show this year. I haven't got a clue, but let me think. Uh, oh, yes, uh, we're here uh, as Digico with Group One. Can I actually move my hands? I think so, oh, if, if you're well behaved. Right, okay. okay, let's start over. Seriously, I mean, what is happening at the show this year with Digico? Uh, well, we've uh, brought a few new things here. We've got some new software on, available on all the consoles. It uh, allows you uh, to expand your SD11 uh, and SD9, gives you more channels, more buses. Um, it also allows you to connect to optical boxes, so you can have an infrastructure uh, on optics uh, and also with Broman and Clearcom. So we're connected, there's a, a yellow cable here going between us that's fiber and Clearcom. Uh, we, we can communicate video and audio, so it's a big infrastructure of I.O. Um, we also have the new D2 rack, which is a 96K rack uh, at a cost-effective package to go with uh, our SD9s and SD8s. As you've traversed the show floor during the past few days, you've definitely seen some amazing video innovations. Whether they're super bright projectors, ultra sharp monitors, or the latest in screen technology. Sound Communications ITAV report continually updates the industry on what's new and the innovative in display market. Add to it stories on the converging technologies like audio, video, HD conferencing, and system control, and you have the makings of a market far greater than most imagined. Keep up with the ever-changing world of IT and AV. Make sure you read more at the ITAV report. Available at booth N239. Pick it up before you leave the show. I'm not sure everybody knows this, but the IT AV report is published in association with the folks at Infocom International. Everyone seems to agree that this is the future, and now the future is now. Mm -hmm. Before we go a little further, let's check in with Malora to see if she came up with any interesting stories that we may have missed the last two days of broadcast. Well, here at Contemporary Research, we've got our new QMOD series. Uh, we've been doing QMODs, modulators, HD and analog, converting them into an HD TV channel for over five years. This year, we're coming out with our new HD SDI dual channel, as well as our HDMI dual channel modulators. And now let's get back to looking back over the product introductions that took place here at Infocom the last few days. I am about to get the worldwide exclusive on-air interview right here at Infocom with Blake Augsburger, Harmon Professional Division President, and Rashid Scoff, President and CEO of AMX. Let's get right to it. Okay, I want to know first off, you know, will AMX operations continue in Texas or be absorbed in one of Harmon's other locations? No, we will definitely continue in Texas. Uh, we purchased the building, so we, we run the business uh, independently and we want to grow the business. So we don't see shutting anything down or moving people around. We, we see expansion in what we currently have. AMX employs more than 600 people across its operations in 19 locations worldwide. Can you comment on what their status will be? Uh, we will continue to operate as an independent company, but at the same time try to bring synergies that we see with Harman on the cross-selling side, on improving efficiencies, uh, on developing new products for the future. So we, we're going to grow this business. We're not tearing it apart at all. What products will we be seeing under the AMX by Harman name and, and, and how you know, will existing AMX products be affected by this acquisition? I think the existing products will continue to sell as, uh, as AMX by Harman now. It's a very exciting future to bring out the new uh, products that we have at the show that are all about collaboration, integration, and simplifying the interaction of uh, individuals in, in collaboration spaces. So we've got some great things coming at the show. It's going to be a very exciting show. Existing dealer distribution relationships are critical to today's business, you know, and although Harman and AMX are in two different segments, there's bound to be some overlap in distribution arrangements. You know, how will this acquisition you know, affect them? Our selling strategy is to pursue vertical markets. And AMX is bringing us new vertical markets, for example, in boardroom, education, and government facilities. So we really see this as incremental selling channels because in a lot of cases, we're not competing. We're not competing at all. He's selling, AMX is selling to the IT customer, we're selling to the traditional pro audio customer. So we see this as an opportunity to make one plus one equal three. Harman recently acquired Martin Lighting and now AMX. Can you, you know, care to tell us what might be next? Uh, it's hard to talk about those kind of things, but I think you can look at it in terms of being able to provide systems. And we want to be the first to provide a complete AV lighting system. 
What do you think, Rashid? Absolutely, the whole system concept of bringing together a complete solution. AMX already had a path of what we were looking at acquiring before we got acquired by Harman, as, as did Harman by themselves. So together again, one plus one equals three, and we can do even more things. It'll be an exciting future. The QLXD digital wireless system from Shure is a sure bet for audio control. It delivers exceptional wireless performance with transparent 24-bit audio. This cost-effective solution features networked control. I just love these guys over here at Shure, Mike. They are the nicest bunch. They always have quality people, products, and programs here at Infocom. Now, right now, I am here with Eric. Eric, fill our viewers in on what they need to know about the QLXD system. Well, QLXD is built on the same digital wireless technology that we brought to market in ULXD, only it's in an even more affordable package. It features transparent digital audio quality and outstanding spectrum efficiency. That means that you can get more microphones on the air in relatively less spectrum, which is really critical in to today's world. Uh, it has many, many features, one of which is Ethernet networking, which you can use to set up a Crestron control system, for example, to monitor and control QLXD. Uh, it also works with Shure's Wireless Workbench 6 software, and it's compatible with Shure's new mobile app for our wireless systems called Shure Plus Channels. Sound Control Technologies has all your control needs covered. Their new Remote Cam 3 solution lets you control Polycom Eagle Eye 4 cameras remotely using your group system codec. Dual Cat 5 or Cat 6 cables extend power, control, and video from the codec to a camera up to 300 feet away. TV1's Choreo Matrix Mini packs a ton of features into a compact matrix router. It uses modular hardware and has six AV slots for I.O. modules. It also features scaling output cards and soft signal switching. It's fully modular. We have the ability to add and remove inputs and outputs at will. There are two stationary inputs that, that will never change, but everything else can be an input or an output. It can be SDI, it can be 3G SDI, it can be composite, component, S-video, it can be RGB, RB, RGBHV, it can be HD base T on the outputs. So anything can be an input or an output, one RU, easy to deploy. We've developed a new web-based GUI user interface that is so intuitive, you know, a child could do it. Crank up the sound on your speaker systems with Galaxy Audio's D-Spot digital signal processors. They allow users to manage and clarify the sound produced by speakers in fixed installations and live sound applications. Grant, over here at Galaxy Audio, tell me what's new in the digital signal processing world. Well, Galaxy Audio d developed six new models of DSP. We've got two compressor limiter models, one that is a multi-band feature that allows you to compress your highs, mids, and lows separately. We have two EQ models, a dual 15 band and a dual 30 band. And then we have two full speaker management systems, a two by four and a three by six. So you can complete any size of project that you have. And we'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. The proceeding was brought to you by Sterin, fueling the collaboration renaissance with Barco taking the click share button experience for elegant simplicity to the next level. Booth C4830. Check out Pioneer Pro Audio's GS Wave and XY Series professional audio speakers in meeting room NR119. Now try to do that with an ad in the daily. See it, hear it. TV works. You know, Joe, with all the cautious optimism that we've heard in the last few months, this has been a very successful show for everyone here at Infocom. And it's not too early to start planning for Infocom 15, that's 2015, to be held in beautiful Orlando, Florida. Exhibit days are the 17th to the 19th. The full conference is from the 13th to the 19th. I think there's very little doubt in anyone's mind that this time next year, the world will continue to have righted itself. And this show, once again, is going to be a must-attend event next year. And and we'll see you there. Yeah, we sure will. Also, priority booth sales began yesterday and are ongoing today between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. 
We've covered a lot of ground in the last three days, so let's continue to rewind the shows. Okay, so this morning I was talking to our editors and they told me that I should take some time to come over and check out the digital signage presentation stage. The experts here are talking about everything from streaming live content to low-cost content solutions. There are 30 half-hour sessions about delivery methods, outsourcing content, copyright restrictions, and vertical market case studies. This stage is sponsored by Samsung. You've got to check it out. Remember, knowledge is king, and there's lots to be learned here. Back to you guys. It's summertime and the mercury is rising. At OWI, the Mercury M8750 is a 70 volt pen and speaker combination engineered for high ceilings. It's a 50 watt transformer in 70 volt. It's a 360 degree dispersion speaker that hangs freely in an open space environment. The key thing to it is it's a five speaker combination, has a woofer, four mid-range tweeters, and it has a super high frequency tweeter on the bottom to shoot off to get extra wide dispersion so it's truly a 360 degree dispersion pattern. Ricoh's new ultra short throw projection system makes any whiteboard interactive. The WX4141NI can bring a dynamic collaboration solution to your client's business or school. Paul. Tell me everything I need to know about Ricoh's WX4141N Ultra Short Projector. Oh, that's a wonderful product. I'm very glad that you asked. The 4141 is new this year. It's replacing our previous model, the 4130, and it has some pretty unique differences between them. It now has a brighter output, so it's 3300 lumens, and the key feature is that before when we showed it originally, it had to sit down and point up at the screen. Now this ultra short throw can be turned around, wall mounted, and point down. So for permanent installations, like for a school above a whiteboard, classroom, boardroom, meeting room, it's a perfect install and very neat, but it still retains its portability. Take a stand against old-fashioned display mounts with Middle Atlantic. Their FlexView display stands are strong, durable, and safety certified. Their contemporary look will draw in users, and their smaller bases allow for up-close interaction. They can accommodate large displays, including 90-inch screens. Kendra, tell our viewers what they need to know about the FlexView display mounts. Yeah, so we're featuring FlexView today. Um, comes in two standard colors, white and black, uh, with or without casters. It's available in standard or with electric lift. Um, does have easy access with the rear panel. So for integrators, very easy to install. Holds up to 2RU with lever lock as well. So for those um, flexible collaboration spaces, depending on your height, we have a lot of flexibility. Shuttle and Milestone Systems have teamed up to bring you a complete security solution for video with a web-based licensing process. These plug-and-play video management solutions come with Milestone Arcus software already installed. This lets you establish a secure parameter quickly and easily. It comes in two configurations. One is a small form factor that is good for about uh, 40, 50 cameras and comes with a four camera license which can be built uh, up from there. And the other is a full DVR with a total of about eight terabyte of storage uh, that also comes with four camera licenses that can be built up to as many as uh, 20 ca 120 cameras. And we'll be wrapping it up right after the break. Please stay with us. See you soon. Rikus Hines has spent the last 10 years fine-tuning line array technology. Now the next generation of sound delivery is here. The new Iconics Gen 5 features faster steering, robust networking, and third-party control. Step into the future with Iconic Audio by Rikus Hines. Boost C11-116 and Demo Room N113. Here in the brutal extremes of southern Louisiana, we find a Studio Live 3242 AI after a hard day of recording. When threatened, these Studio Live AI mixers have been known to cascade. Strength in numbers. Now boasting a collective 64 channels, the Studio Live sounds a warning. This behavior has even been documented among mixers of radically differing configurations. Ah, mating season.
Here's John Carr's Eye on Infocom. Nothing has changed the way AV companies do business quite like the internet. And thanks to a constant stream of advances in connectivity, the possibilities for innovation are just about endless. The rise of web-dependent devices has resulted in a shotgun wedding between the IT and AV trades. This convergence has major implications for the future of commercial AV communications. People, processes, data, and devices can all be connected today. This means integrators need to step back and adjust their approach to projects on a regular basis. Manufacturers have been rolling out innovations that harness the power of networking in a variety of ways, inspiring radical new ideas about what AV technology can really do. Shona Narona, editor of our biannual ITAV report, has been highlighting the latest trends. We've seen the tailored content can be created with RFID and NFC devices. Gesture-based control and emotion-sensitive facial recognition are becoming a reality. And crowd-sourced immersive environments might be everywhere before you know it. It's a brave new world. Get on board. You know, Mike, the folks at Testa Communications have been doing TV shows like this at conventions for well over 20 years. Wow. Yeah, long before we ever had plasmas everywhere. Almost. Gosh, I wasn't even born. Joking. All right. <laughs> Airports, restaurants, shopping malls, you name it. Even at my local Dunkin' Donuts, they do it all. Yeah, that was before we called it digital signage, too. But you know, TV works. Like you say, it's everywhere. And if you need to get the messages seen and heard, there's no better way to do it than TV because... TV works. It does, and to prove that point, you're watching it, and we, of course, want to thank you. We also would like to extend a special thanks to the advertisers who shared the vision and supported this program. Well, that's it. Thanks, everyone, for watching us, and we look forward to seeing you next year in Orlando, Florida. I'm Mike Morris. And I'm Jill Nicolini with the best, nicest, and loveliest field reporter in the business, Melora Donahue. Aw, thank you guys so much. Am I going to be seeing you later tonight? Definitely. Bye-bye. <laughs> so long, everybody. See ya. The proceeding was brought to you by Furman, purifying power for 40 years. Booth 9521 in the Center Hall. Check out Pioneer Pro Audio's GS-Wave and XY-Series professional audio speakers in meeting room NR119. Designed and engineered to the industry's highest quality standards for network installations, DCI Series amplifiers with Drive Core technology provide multiple innovations at every point and unmatched performance time after time. BSS Audio introduces the SoundWeb Contrio controllers. Four PoE powered Ethernet models, available in black or white, provide approachable control interfaces for non technical users. PV Commercial Audio invites you to take Professor PV's amazing audio torture test. Join PV at Booth C10129 to learn the ins and outs of audio networking. See how life safety systems behave during disasters. Sing your way through a block of wood. While you're there, see the all new products from Media Matrix, Crest Audio, and Architectural Acoustics. All at PV Commercial Audio, Booth C10129.